Which is the last place you have traveled recently? Not too far maybe, right? In this COVID time when people even refrain from traveling to any other city, SpaceX has sent its first crew of civilian people like you and me to space to travel and explore. First flight of SpaceX soared into orbit on Wednesday night and launched four civilians on a three-day orbital tour which included two contest winners, a healthcare worker and their rich sponsors. Few years ago, many people called space tourism an impossible or exorbitant task. They said space travel is not meant for civilian people. But now the same people are watching this move of SpaceX and other private companies keenly and progressively. It is the most ambitious leap in the space tourism. However, if you want to travel to space like these people, you need to pay thousands of dollars. But this is expected that this would be less costly in the future. It was the first time a spacecraft circled around the Earth with all a mature crew and no professional astronauts. It is being seen as a sign of new era in human space flight. The flight, named Inspiration4, took off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida with SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and reached an orbiting height of 585 kilometers, which is 364 miles around 3 hours later. The Dragon capsule of Falcon 9 carrying two men and two women are looking to spend three days going round and round the planet from an unusually high orbit, 100 miles, 160 kilometers higher than the International Space Station before splashing down off the Florida coast this weekend. It is SpaceX founder Elon Musk's first entry into the competition of space tourism. Virgin Galactic of Richard Branson, Blue Origin of Jeff Bezos are into the race too. This is it for today. For more such content, keep watching Brainiac Bing.